All right, another news story, dipping into the news again. This is something that <clears throat> I, I want to make clear. There are all kinds of crazy people out there who get triggered for all kinds of crazy reasons. And, you know, it would be wrong to generalize <clears throat> about any particular uh, group of people or, or any particular faction political or, or otherwise based on something crazy that, that, uh, one person does. But I, I do think undeniably, <clears throat> you know, people have lost their shit. A lot of people have lost their shit, um, over, you know, this election. And, um, this is a story about what I think what makes this story worth discussing is, uh, that, that, uh, it, it, we're not just talking about some marginal figure. We're not just talking about someone who, uh, you know, is, is like on the, uh, on the margins of society in and out of asylums, you know, uh, <clears throat> wandering around homeless, like the, the kind of typical profile Maybe that may be stereotypical, but, but still, when you think about a person who is crazy, this, this woman who did this, who, who, who evidently, allegedly committed this awful act, um, as you can see discussed in this headline was, uh, is, uh, a, 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 a high ranking, um, um, intel seemingly intelligent, uh, uh, a person, you know, high in the hierarchy, uh, and the, the person that she's married to wrote a best selling book and is also renowned, um, a, a person of some renown, uh, I'm just going to say person for reasons that will be clear in a minute. Um, I mean, I don't find the person or, or the book that was written by that person to be renowned. Uh, uh, it's not renowned by me, but it's renowned by many. So triggered by Donald Trump's victory, Seattle woman brutally kills father with ice ax on election night. All right. Cop said 33 year old Corey book was found clapping and smiling covered in her father's blood. Was that the first, is that the way they opened that story? That's kind of a weird opening sentence. So there she is, Corey Burke, 33 year old, uh, found clapping and smiling, covered in her father's blood. She murdered her father, allegedly, because she was upset about election night. All right. Um, so here's here's where we find out some things about about uh, this this person, Corey Burke. Uh, I I heard other uh, elsewhere she she's referred to as <laughs> a power feminist. I think that's the the term um, that that she used to to describe herself. Anyway, uh, here here are just the facts, ma'am. A space rocket program manager brutally killed her father with an ice axe on election night. After a breakdown following Donald Trump's victory, cops said, I don't say that, why don't they say police? Sorry, that's just a little, that's just a little too informal for a, a news story. Police said 33 year old Corey Burke was found clapping and smiling, covered in her father's blood, according to the New York Post. Um, so this woman works in a space rocket program. She's a space rocket program manager. Uh, let's find out some more. Burke reportedly considered the attack, quote, an, an act of liberation, according to, uh, charging documents. 
She has been accused of strangling, biting, and hacking her father, 67, to death in their $800,000 Seattle home. Okay, so you see, living in an, in a, in an expensive home in Seattle, which is an expensive place to live, as I understand, it's growing, It's more and more of a shithole these days, but it's still a very expensive place to live, and it's where a lot of the tech people live, of course. Um, uh, okay, and uh, here's some more about Corey Burke, this woman who, who murdered her husband uh, in, in such an aggravated, horrific manner on election night. According to Burke's LinkedIn... She is a training program manager at Blue Origin, Jeff Sp Bezos' spa spacecraft company. She's married. Okay, more about her. She's married to prominent transgender writer Samantha Lee Allen, author of the acclaimed, so prominent, acclaimed. See, um, author of the acclaimed book *Real Queer America: LGBT Stories from Red States* as well as an editor of that them <laughs> a Condé Nast transgender news publication. <sighs> Condé Nast is like a, you know, a money slick page, hoity toity travel journal, um, that they have their own, uh, publication, um, for dedicated to transgender stuff is just, uh, I mean, it's par for the course. It's like corporate, it's, this is, this is the way corporate America, this is what Amer corporate America, this is the wokeifying, the wokeifying of, of corporate America. Why would it be, it be in their interest to have a publication like that? Except to virtue signal, obviously. Um, and, uh, you know, to, to get that black rock, uh, you know, to get ESG points or whatever. Um, there's, there's just not a lot of, uh, like if you're writing for a travel magazine, how, how, what percentage of, of your readership are transgender people? Honestly, um, probably less than 1%, less than, probably less than, uh, point. 1% is what I'm going to guess. <sighs> anyway, back to the story. So, so, this, so now we know this, this person, Corey Burke, this, this woman who allegedly killed her father in such a terrible manner, uh, is, is wealthy and successful and is in rocket science and works for Jeff Bezos spacecraft company. And she's married to uh, what I'm guessing is this guy who's calling him, who's now calling himself Samantha Lee Allen. So she's, a, she calls herself a lesbian, but she's married to a man who, a man who now b believes himself to be a woman. Um, does that really make you a lesbian? I don't know. I don't, I, I won't dwell on that point for now. I'll just leave it, ling I'll let it linger out there. So Burke, that's the, the murderess, the alleged murderess, Burke told police that the murder was meant, quote, to help people change their attachment to their parents and, quote, had to happen today. <sighs> so, I mean, this is, this is her afterwards talking about it, rationalizing it. And when they found her, she was covered in blood and laughing and clapping. You know, so yes, yeah, she sounds like she lost her mind. Killed her, killed her father in their expensive Seattle home and lost her mind, you know, just was acting crazy. But then later saying, we've got to, we, this is good. This is meant to help people change their attachment to their parents and had to happen today. Um, Burke had been upset about the election. Uh, and knew Trump would win. Already agitated Burke reportedly snapped when her dad Again, father, father, I'm not telling you guys how to do journalism, but you don't, don't use words like cops and dad say father, police and father. It's a formal, <laughs> formal, uh, you know, protocol here for these, these news stories. Anyway, 
when her father, Timothy Burke, refused to switch the lights off. Whew. So well, that was it. That, that was what set her off. Um, she wanted the lights off. Her father said no. Or just maybe wasn't quick enough about turning them off. And then she attacked him with an ice pick or an ice axe. An ice axe, which I'm guessing is like an ice pick. Um, by the way, that put that brings to mind a couple things. That brings to mind, first of all, um, uh, uh, Basic Instinct. Remember this, that movie, Sharon Stone's character, who was also bisexual, um, uh, murdered people with an axe. Uh, an, an ice pick. Uh, it was there's that last that final shot of an ice pick under her bed. Um, also, okay, I guess that's that's all they have of the story. It doesn't look like there's any more of it than that. But this what they have already is pretty good as far as details, even if you know, you know, I have my problems with the. The violations with uh, the violations of standard journalist journalistic procedure when writing a news story. Um, so Sharon Stone's character in Basic Instinct murdered her victims with an ice pick. Also, um, Joseph Stalin hired an assassin to go down to Mexico and infiltrate Trotsky's inner circle. That's where Trotsky was out in uh, Stalin's rival that he'd driven into exile. Uh, was uh, He was in Mexico at the time, and he ended up befriending uh, people in Trotsky's inner circle, and then when he got Trotsky alone, attacked him with an ice pick. So that was a nice pick. This is a nice axe. I've looked at pictures of both of them, both ice picks and ice axe, axes. There's a, a similarity to, between the two of them. Anyway, that's that's the gal who did it. And uh, again, we're not talking about a marginal person. Um, we're talking about somebody who must be of high high intelligence, uh, who is uh, highly successful. Um, who's in the uh, higher rungs of, of the hierarchy of our, of our society. And these are the kinds of people who are just losing their, losing their shit and, uh, and doing stuff like this, murdering their fathers to, in order to, uh, to, uh, create, uh, uh you know, a, a needed, um, detachment from, from uh, one's parents. <sighs> very dark. Very, very dark. 